we are going to finish up this digital interactive notebook in this unit, which was all about writing and graphing linear inequalities. So the last part of this unit is writing linear inequalities from a word problem. So we are going to write the steps. So I am going to zoom in a little bit. Let's see if there's already a text box or if I need to make one. I need to make one. Okay, so step one. Read the word problem and determine what the variables represent. Whoa, sorry. Step two, assign a number from the word problem to each variable. Step three, determine which inequality symbol you will use by looking for keywords. Or key phrases, really. That would be more accurate. And then step four, write the inequality. So what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to look at these keywords, key phrases down here. So we have the less than symbol, greater than, less than equal to and greater than equal to. And here are the key phrases. Is less than, is fewer than. All deals with less than. Greater than, is greater than, is more than. Less than, equal to. B, is less than or equal to, is at most, is no more than. Greater than or equal to, is greater than or equal to. Is at least, is no more than, or is no less than. There we go. If you look at your notes from the first unit, so I'm going to show you. We made a pocket for the first unit, and there was a little green page that says words and algebra. Do y'all remember that? Yeah. Okay, look for that. And what I want you to look at are these key phrases here. So there are a few more than what's listed on the slide. So if you need to, you can look back at these. I'll have to get you one. Okay. So look back at these anytime that you're not sure of what the symbols should be. Okay, let's look at our first example. Kim has $18 to buy notebooks and binders for school. Binders cost $2 each, and the notebooks cost $1 each. If she spent no more than $18, write an equality where X represents the notebooks and Y represents the binders. So let's follow our steps. Determine what the variables represent. So what two unknowns are there? I'm going to... I need to like highlight. Is there a way? Is that highlight? No. I guess I would. Okay. Yeah, that would work. Scribble tool, make it a little thicker and make it like a highlighter look. 
to it. Or you can even do the transparent and you can go over the top. If you make it eight, that might work. X. No, that did not work. You have to do it after you. You have to do it afterwards? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm going to try one more time because, yeah, you're probably right. All right. So, oh, because I had this thing selected. That's why. Like, what? What am I yeah, doing? Nice. Yeah, I had that selected. That's why. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I have to do it afterwards. Okay, so X represents notebooks. And then Y represents binders. I'm going to select them and see if I can make them thicker. <laughs> In the color. I can do the transparent one. And move it up a little. No, it was not transparent. I'm making things harder than they should be. All right. We're going to go with that. At least it's underlined now. All right. So what does X represent? Notebook. Yeah. Number of notebooks. Sometimes you're given the option to decide on what variable to use. And so in this case, we would use N if we were able to pick. But it's already been chosen for us, and that was X. And then Y represents number of binders. Step two, assign a number for the word problem, from the word problem to each variable. So what number would go with X, which is number of notebooks? X is number of notebooks. Binders cost $2 each and notebooks cost $1 each. Yeah, so I'm going to just write $1 per notebook. And then binders would be $2 each, $2 per binder. Hello. Okay, so we finished step one, two. So step three, determine which inequality symbol you will look at by looking for key phrases. So what would be the key phrase that determines what kind of inequality symbol we'll be using? No more than. Mm-hmm. So no more than $18. I'm going to select both of those, make them a little thicker and then change the color. So what does no more than $18 mean? Less than or equal to. Mm -hmm. So we are going to no more than 18. So no more than is a less than equal to symbol. And they've given us our symbols over here. So I'm going to copy and paste. Well, I'm, I can just drag it over, really.
And now we can write our linear inequality. So she wants to spend no more than $18. So what operation happens with the dollar per notebook and $2 per notebook? What are we going to do with those two? We're going to add them. Yep. So we would say $1 per X plus $2 per Y is less than or equal to, we can insert the symbol. Eighteen. One x plus two y is less than or equal to eighteen. Okay. Pretty straightforward. We're just looking for the symbols, looking for variables numbers that will attach to the variables, and then we write the inequality. And if we need to graph this, how would we graph this? What would we need to do? Solve it. So we'd need to subtract x on both sides and then divide by two in order to graph it. That, there will be one question like that on Neil's test. Okay, I want y'all to go ahead and do 12 and 13 with a partner, and then we will check your work and see how you did. Okay, so you should have at least slide 12 done. Slide 13 has some confusing wording that we'll go over. So on this one, we're able to figure out that X is the cost of each pizza. So you always look at the bottom, usually. X represents cost of each pizza. X is cost of each pizza. And Y is cost of spaghetti. Uh, she bought two pizzas and three orders of, of spaghetti. So two matches with X and three matches with Y. And the key word for the inequality is at least $45. If she spent at least $45, so that means she can spend more than $45, but at least as the, le uh, the least amount she spent. So at least $45. So if it's at least $45, that is a greater than or equal to symbol. Because it would be $45 or greater. So 2x plus 3y is greater than, greater than or equal to 45. Okay, let's move over to the other one about video games and DVDs. Cost of each video game is X and he bought three video games. Y is cost of each DVD, DVD and he bought two DVDs. He wants to spend no more than $80. That's all he got for his birthday. So we have three X plus two Y is less than or equal to 80. So far, are you agreeing with me? What do y'all think? Okay. All right, let's go to 13. So 13 had some confusing wording. Um, I kind of added this 250 in there. We have trying to raise at least $400, makes a profit of $2.50 on each box of holiday cards. So X is number of boxes of holiday cards, which is $2.50 per box. That's the amount of profit. And then Y is number of packs of wrapping paper, which they say 80% of the profit on each box on each pack of wrapping paper. So that means we're doing 80% of the $2.50 that he, uh, that they earn on the boxes, which if we multiply these 80% of 250, we get $2 of profit per pack. 
wants to make at least $400. So our equation comes out like this, $2.50 plus uh, times X plus $2 times Y is greater than or equal to 400. So at least 400 would be greater than or equal to 400. Let's look at the next one. X is number of pants. Y is number of shoes. So it's like pairs of pants, pairs of shoes, of course. $55 per pants. The shoes, though, are 25% more than the cost of the pants. So to find out how much that is, you can do it two different ways. You can find out 55 times 1.25, because that means you're going to add the 25% to it to get 68.75 per pair of shoes. The other way would be you would multiply $55 times, was it 25% more? So times 0.25. And then add it to the $55. Did anybody do it like that? Okay. That's perfectly fine. Because that comes up with the same thing, right? So we're good with that. I'm good with that. Either way you want to do it. And uh, wants to spend at most $300. Shopping spree. Man. Linear inequality would be 55X plus 6875Y has to be less than or equal to $300. Okay, so we are done with this digital interactive notebook. So you have a quizzes as an assignment that you can do up to twice. You can use your composition journal to write anything out that you need to, but hopefully that quizzes shows up on Google Classroom. Yep, there it is.